Hi, everybody. Joseph Petrie here. And I, you know what? I just woke up this morning and I thought, what? Get out of bed, get dressed, make your bed. And what you're going to do is you're going to get up and you're going to start learning, looking at training and development. And you're going to <clears throat> learn something new. If not learn something new, enhance what you already know. So when I went to, um, I got up and I thought, well, okay, what do I want to explore a little bit more of? And what I decided I wanted to do is I wanted to explore more of the Katie area and find out more about Katie. So what we're gonna do is, that's kind of what my life looks like. And right now what we're gonna do is we're going to, oops, excuse me. We're going to look at Katie. Katie was the home of seasonal nomadic tribes. The diet consisted of uh, bison, venison, migratory birds, seafood, and wild berries. There also, in the 1800s, Kane had another name, Cane Island. Katie is located at the intersection of Harris, Waller, and Fort Bend counties. Some people claim Katie was named after Missouri, Kansas, Texas Railroad, known as the KT Railroad, or the name of the saloon keeper's wife. The primary zip codes there are 77449, 77450, since they've added 77493 and 77494, expanding west from there. Katie is 29 miles west of Houston, north and south of the I-10, 22 miles east of Sealy, and 16 miles northwest of Sugarland. Greater Katie includes communities such as Cinco Ranch, Green Trails, Grayson Lakes, Seven Meadows, Pine Mill Ranch, Silver Ranch, Fire Firethorn, Grand Lakes, and uh, Cane Island, and the developments such as Memorial Parkway, Kellywood, and Nottingham Country. So what's new and upcoming attractions for Katy is the Katy Boardwalk District. It's gonna be on 196 acres. It's going to have a 300 room hotel, a 43,000 square foot convention center, 155,000 square feet of uh, retail, and one and two bedroom loft apartments, as well as its walking distance between the, to the re renovated Katie Mills Mall and Typhoon Texas Water Park. The information provided today was based on the following locations, Katie Broadway, walk, Broadwalk District.com, Texas State Historical Association, Realtor Property Resource, and the CityTowninfo.com, as well as Wikipedia. So what we're gonna do is, now that I've created a, I've, I've made some phone calls from some clients, so what I wanna do is I wanna follow up with that. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go over to RPR, which is going to be, let's see, I'm hooking this up on, uh, on Facebook, so I wanna uh, go live anyway. I'll deal with the rest of that later. But I, what I did is I went to RPR. RPR is the National Association of Realtors Property Resource. This is a free member benefit to members of the National Association of Realtors, of which I know the majority of you are members. So please go online to NARRPR.com and create an account. And I'm going to show you some tools today that are available to you on the RPR. So my client lives in Katy, zip code 77450. So I'm gonna go within that zip code, I'm gonna search. And I'm gonna come up with, here's my search results. Here, there are, 80, there are 78 places inside this zip code of 77450. Here's the map reflecting that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna look for Nottingham Country. Yeah, where we go? There it is. So I have this here. Now, what I love about this is it provides me with additional information before I even go any further. It talks about the immediate estimated home value, the change since last year is up 1.11%. There are currently 64 homes for sale. The median price is 349.7. The day, medium days on the market is four, 
our, for RPR is 43. And in that neighborhood, there are 2,854 2, homes. So when I click on Nottingham Country, I'm going to get this. This is my report. So the, the summary page is everything that we just mentioned. Lots of charts and graphs. My, my mind isn't wired that way, but anyway, some people love charts and graphs. The next thing over is going to be housing. This is the housing facts and stats for Nottingham Country, Harris County, Texas, and the United States. Medium listing price versus listing volume. And you can change over one year, two years, three years. Or if I want to look at all of it, it's pretty much stayed the same. Next tab over is the people tab, which I love the people tab because that's going to allow me to, um, that's gonna allow me to show um, things in the community that I'll find very interesting to you as a realtor. Over here we have our map showing me the county boundary, the, the proper, the community boundaries, excuse me. Let's make that smaller. And over here, we can talk about education levels. What kind of people am I gonna be talking to? Apparently education is very important to them here. Population of children by age groups, adults by age group. So I'm dealing with boomers and generation, is it X or Y? I can't remember, I'll have to look that up. Anyway, households with children, income brackets, occupational categories, and presidential voting patterns. If you have any questions about anything, click on the words about this data, and it will tell you this chart shows how residents in the county voted in 2016 presidential election. The source of that is uselectionatlas.org. The next tab over is going to be um, the economy. This tab is going to talk about the unemployment rate in the area, Nottingham, Harris County, Texas, US. The next tab over is going to be the quality of life. In this, we're going to talk about average commute times, people, how people get to work and walkability scores. The walkability score is based on this neighborhood or zip code is rated for walking access to general points of interest reflected in the overall score plus amenities such as retail stores and leisure such as restaurants and parks. Other factors considered in the score are street types, weather, public transportation, and population density. Of course, this source is Maponix and it's updated quarterly. So now that I've done this, uh, what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to create a report. Click on the report tab, and this is, these are the different reports that I have available to me. In here, we've got um, a market activity report, which automatically populates there, but we're looking at the neighborhood report. And when I want to see the details of this report, I click on more details. As a, as, a, as someone who uses and has created an account with RPR, I can upload up to 15, five, excuse me, five different documents. Here I have my resume, the interdiction, information about brokerage services, the consumer notice, and I have a quote about a CMA. And I can choose to delete this, I can choose to delete this, and this way I have control over what goes in my report. All right, next thing I'm going to do is come down here. I want to personalize this to John and Mary. And I'm going to leave them a message. And I'm going to, this message is, um, going to show up in the body of the email that I'm going to send them when they get their report.
I can't talk and chew gum at the same time, so I apologize <laughs> for the, the 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 space there. Um, all right. And if you notice over here, there's Grammarly, which is going to check your grammar or misspelling. I'm going to email this to myself. And we're going to run the report. Now, keep in mind, this report expires after 30 days. So if you, for some reason, upload it to your social media, keep that in mind because the last thing you want to do is have your report on your social media that's already expired. So make sure you, you're able to manage that. <clears throat> I'm going to run the report and it'll be ready in two minutes. Now I've already run this report just so that we can talk about it. However, you can see that this is pending for this report here. Look at this orange circle with the plus sign. When I click on that, come on now, I have choices. I can download the report, I can rerun this report, I can share it on Facebook. Now what I love about this is this is what it's gonna, how it's going to appear on my posting inside wherever I send it to. So I can, I can actually send it, share it a private message with my client, <clears throat> or I can post, post it to a page that I manage. And I'm going to go to the, let me see, I posted this here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to post that. Now remember, You've got to always keep in mind that that report is going to expire in 30 days. So have I been noticed that the report has been generated? <clears throat> cool. And that's it for today, guys. So what I want to do is thank you so much for listening, number one, but number two, don't stay in bed, watch Netflix and Hulu all day long, although there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, given the times right now, we need to get out and we need to uh, learn something, sharpen our skills as realtors and human beings. So thank you. My name is Joseph, Joseph Petrie. And my phone number is 713-875-3001. My email address is joseph at josephpetrie.com. And my website is josephpetrie.com. I'm also known as the RPR guy. So again, thank you so much. I look forward to talking to you soon.